Marvel Spider-Man not only includes the largest suit selection throughout Spider-Man games, but also includes the best suit selection yet. With over 40 plus suits and fan favorites such as the Raimi costume, with those making their first ever appearance in Spider-Man games such as Spider-UK, there's enough to pick from to satisfy every fan's favorite interpretation of the character. Except for you, Andrew Garfield fans. But which of these 40 plus suits are actually canon to the game's story or this world's Peter Parker? Throughout the game, there's multiple moments where the NPCs don't acknowledge the fact that the player is wearing another costume besides these upcoming canon suits, such as Yuri Watanabe asking Spider-Man if he has a black and white suit while he's wearing the Future Foundation. So today we will be looking at and briefly discussing each canon suit to Spider-Man PS4 that made its way into the game's story one way or another. To begin, we start with a costume that almost every interpretation of Spider-Man begins in before donning the classic red and blues, which is the proto-suit or in Insomniac's Peter Parker's case, the wrestling costume. This can be seen during the opening cutscene for the game on a poster advertising a match between Crusher Hogan versus the Spider, referencing the classic story moment from Amazing Fantasy 15. The costume features a homemade look reminiscent of the Human Spider or Ultimate Wrestling suit, featuring a red crew neck, blue athletic pants, and a blue mask, which is not really a look seen for the character. Of course, the next suit canon to Spider-Man PS4 story is the classic suit the first costume players wear loading up the game for the first time, and the iconic look we all know and love for the character. Throughout the game's story, two versions of this costume are canon, with the second being a damn variant of this suit thanks to Spider-Man's fight against Kingpin in the opening level, and the two suit variants not only differ in damage, but it appears as if the damage variant includes more vibrant colors compared to the standard variant, making the players have to choose between the two depending on their aesthetic preference. Shortly after completing the Kingpin level, the next canon suit featured in Spider-Man PS4 is no surprise to anyone as it's the game's default suit, the Advanced Suit. Peter Parker crafts this costume after Dr. Octavius suggests the way Spider-Man could enhance his suit providing more protection against enemies, and the suit serves as Insomniac's main attire for the character, with it being specifically designed for the game and appearing in multiple forms of media for Marvel Spider-Man, making it an easily identifiable look. Up next is a suit with its own original backstory from the comics being changed to fit Insomniac's interpretation of Spider-Man, the Dark Suit, which players can unlock after completing each Black Cat photo mission. Upon discovering Black Cat's secret hideout, Felicia Hardy reveals that she made a newly designed suit for Peter to wear, making it canon to Spider-Man PS4 story, even though Felicia won't acknowledge that the player is wearing this throughout the DLC. In the original 616 comics, Felicia Hardy created a cloth version of the classic symbiote suit for Peter to wear after getting rid of the alien version, so you can see where Insomniac's inspiration for her creating the Dark Suit came from. However, the original backstory for the dark suit is different in the comics as Spider-Man dons this costume in an issue of Spider-Man Deadpool. Another in-game costume first appearing in the comics which very slightly makes its way into the in-game canon is Spider-Punk, one of the three pre-order bonus suits. This costume is canon to the game thanks to one of the audio clips from J. Jonah Jameson's radio show being played shortly after the player uses the suit for the first time. Spider-Man was a few geese short of a gaggle but this confirms it. As if that atrocious white spider wasn't enough, I've had repeated sightings of him in a new outfit. Some sort of punk rock inspired thing that makes sane people want to tear out their eyeballs with a rusty spoon. Now, I was around for the birth of punk rock, and I did not care for it then. It's a flagrant declaration of disrespect for authority, and if Spider-Man is going down that route, oh no. No, I just had a terrifying thought. What if this isn't the Spider-Man we know, but some sort of metal mohawk-wearing copycat? What if there's more than one? Jared, go to break. Moving on from one pre-order bonus to another, we have a costume that recently made its way into Spider-Man PS4's canon, the Insomniac originally designed Velocity Suit. The Velocity Suit is canon due to a video game tie-in comic exploring the backstory of how the Velocity Suit came to be, which I believe takes place after the events of City at War. When this costume was first revealed, I wasn't the biggest fan of it, however after months of playing the game, I do consider it one of the underrated designs perfect for use at night. The remaining two canon suits are first seen in the later half of the game, with one being shown briefly, but somehow the reward for completing everything in the game 
the undies suit. Not only is the suit canon, it's one of the worst suits in the game and in my opinion a big slap in the face for hardcore players who took the time out of their day to finish everything there is to do in Insomniac's New York. But the big issue with this costume and the reason why I believe a costume like the symbiote could have been included despite story reasons is that none of the New Yorkers seem to care that Spider-Man is swinging around in his underwear. If I'm wearing this, I want the entire city to run away from me, not give me high fives or take selfies. Finally, the last canon suit featured in Spider-Man PS4 is another original Insomniac design, and the suit were locked into during the final fight of the game for some reason, the Anti-Ox suit. Basically, this is an advanced advanced suit, with Peter using this to defeat someone he once called a friend during the finale of the game. I do wish we would have been able to use the damage variant of this costume similar to what we can do with the classic suit, but I am a fan of the Anti-Ox design, and in my opinion, seeing the suit for the first time was the most hype moment of the game. So there you have it. Each canon suit in Spider-Man PS4, a quick recap is on screen now in case you didn't pay attention to the video. You could make a case for the ESU suit being canon since Peter Parker wears the outfit throughout the game, however I didn't include it because we never see Peter wear the suit itself, which includes the mask, in any cutscenes or any moments from the game that affect the story. Let me know what you guys thought of the video as well as which of these canon suits are your favorite. Personally I'll have the go with the Anti-Ock, although it is hard to beat designs such as the classic suit and the advanced suit. And as always, thanks for watching, be sure to subscribe, follow my social medias, and I will see you guys again in my next video.